everyone. Welcome to the Weekly Update. I'm Chuck Mayer. Happy Thanksgiving and a special thank you to everybody who's brought in canned goods to donate for the Ronald McDonald House for uh, the competition that we're having in here for the drawing. We've got four different prizes. You can still do that through the end of the month, which is next Wednesday. And uh, anything that you can do to donate would be greatly appreciated. We're trying to top our what we did last year and we want to really make some people happy. Now there's one other thing that I want to tell you about. So if you've even begun to tune me out for any reason, there is a really cool one of a kind freshwater crab that Kevin's going to be showing you this week. It's the first time anybody that we know has had this. So if you're looking for a really cool aquatic freshwater crab, uh, pay close attention to what's coming in the video. Okay, one of the other things that I want to bring up, and I know I bring it up a lot, but there's a reason for it, is that if you have been in the market to upgrade your tank or get a new tank, now is the best time. Prices haven't gone up yet. The deals are incredible. Our prices are incredibly low, and we're running out of time to build the stand and canopy that you want if we don't have it in stock for Christmas. So if you're in the market, now would be a great time to come look, talk to one of our people, and let's see if we can't help you get into that aquarium. Hey y'all, it's Diana with Fishy Business here today. Um, I just wanted to show y'all the project I was working on last week. I finally got it all set up. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we are going to be selling a whole bunch of nano systems already cycled. Um, we're ranging from one gallon to nine, a variety of different kinds of fish in here. Um, it's everything included, livestock, tanks, substrate, heaters, all of that fun stuff. Uh, they look really awesome and I'm really, really happy the way they turned out. Um, as we sell these systems, we will be putting in different kinds. So let's say we sold this little cobalt, we put a different kind of tank here, it wouldn't be the exact same thing. So if you really want it, you gotta come and grab them while they're here. Um, thank y'all so much. Hi, it's Kevin. I've got a lot of really cool freshwater fish as well as some freshwater invertebrates to show you this week. I'm going to show you the highlights of what we got in so far. This is a fishy business first. These are banana crabs. These are really cool little terrarium crabs that you can do. They need to be able to climb in and out of the water. Usually average size about four to five inches from one side of the shell to the other. They're omnivorous and we're still finding out more information on them. They're very new to the hobby. We got in some other freshwater crabs. These are the purple Matano crabs. These guys top out no more than about two to two inches or so. They don't like each other, so therefore we have them separated from each other. They are omnivorous, so they may grab a fish and eat it. So be careful choosing tape mates for these guys. They are fully aquatic. However, even fully aquatic crabs may escape out of your tank if not properly covered. I've got in an awesome selection of Glowfish Tetras. These are the Skirt Tetras. We also have in Glow Pristella Tetras as well. These guys are probably the most durable out of all of them. They're actually good for even cycling a new tank. Come in a huge array of colors. They're not dye or dye injected, but they are genetically enhanced. We got in some nice little scavengers for you if you have a planted tank. These are the Japanese algae eating shrimp, the Amano shrimp. They are awesome for a planted tank so as they scavenge the algae off the leaves of the plant and leave the plant alone. If you're starting out a brand new tank, your best bet is to go with a good rugged starter fish. One of the best ones for that would be the red eye tetras. They're great for color, great for activity, and they are awesome for starting out a new tank as they can handle the ammonia spike that occurs. Got in some awesome looking chocolate zebra placostomus. These guys are omnivorous placostomus. They don't get very large. They usually top out about four to five inches max. We got in some really nice looking Agazizi Cories. These would be a wonderful scavenger to have in any community aquarium. They do best in groups of five or more. Another cool little imported Placostomus we got in this week. We got in some nice butterfly Placostomus. They also top out about four to five inches max. Really cool scavenger to add to any aquarium. We got in some awesome little Tanganyikan cichlids this week. We got in some Tropius de Boisei. This fish will actually morph totally in their color variation as they mature. Right now they're still in their juvenile color pattern. They kind of remind me of a jewel damsel in salt water. 
We have in a nice looking silver arowana this week. This little juvenile is about four inches or so. Perfect for adapting to captivity at that size. You will need a very large tank though, as you will reach a potential of over 30 inches. We also got in some glow barbs. The barbs are semi-aggressive and generally will not mix in with most of the other glow fish that you'd be getting. They prefer to be in groups of five or more, so keep them in groups of five or more with semi-aggressive fish to prevent them from nipping at your other tank mates. Hi everybody, um, this is something you won't see every day. I'm actually cleaning an aquarium. Thank goodness Kevin's not around. He might stroke out if he saw this. Kat and I are getting ready to tell you about the new saltwater fish we got in this week. Miss Reagan's on vacation. I hope you're having a good one, Miss Reagan. Alright guys, let me do a little bit more work and we'll see what we can see. Hi everybody, as he swims away from us because we're filming in perfect timing, there is a yellow mimic tang and he's being bullied by a cute little purple tang about the size of a 50 cent piece. It's good for both of them, now they'll both come out and play. Excellent algae eaters, the yellow mimic tang. Any of the bristle tooth types are going to be your micro algae eaters and they normally spend all day long working the rock work, not being lazy waiting for food like most of the other times. Another cool fish that came in is the Tomantosis file fish. These guys are world famous for eating Mohano anemones and Aptasia. But once that's all gone, they will start looking at your zoanthids. For some reason, they can figure out which ones are the expensive zoanthids and they always eat them first. <laughs> Very cool little fish, fun to watch, and he will camouflage and change color for his surroundings. Okay, everybody, we've got a pair of beautiful angelfish in today. This is the Imperator angel, or the Emperor angel. He's going to get to be about 18 to 21 inches full grown, and he will lose his fingerprint pattern and end up getting yellow racing stripes on a gray body with a black mask. He will eat corals like most of the larger angelfish do. Beautiful fish on the tank fish. And then this one, put them side by side for comparison, this is a Koran angel. A Koran angel is very cool. Good open water swimmer, very personal, like the Imperator. He also will eat corals. You can tell by the shape of his face and the fact that he's an angel fish. The large angels can't help themselves. It's what they do. Here we have a booby trap with fins. This is a panther grouper. and He's the cutest little thing ever. He's probably about the size of your thumb right now if you have a small child-like thumb. Full grown form is almost 30 inches long. He gets to be about the size of a house. He's a great fish, open water swimmer, who likes to eat anything small enough to fit in his mouth, and his mouth is surprisingly large. At this size, something the size of a neon tetra would be a good food source for him, but I don't recommend feeding him neon tetra. Start him off on ghost shrimp. Once you get him feeding, move to some frozen foods. Everyone will be happier in the long run. Some urchins are not good for reef tanks. These guys are an exception to the rule. These guys are the tuxedo urchins and they are very good microalgae cleaners. You can almost see a smooth little path where the algae used to be and may have traveled. Like most urchins, they're sensitive to swings and salinity, so be sure and top off a small amount every day to keep your urchins happy. Your shrimp will be happier too. These are the pajama cardinals, or PJ cardinals. Very cool looking dudes. And then these are the Bangai, or Buddha cardinals. In the wild, these very meek and timid fish will spend their time hanging out in some urchins called diadema urchins, or long spot. Don't do that. These guys down here are baby long spine urchins. As they get bigger, the cardinals will swim in and out of the spines as a form of protection against large predators. These are semi, semi venomous, so when you get a chance, ask Andrew about his experience with the urchins. He'd love to tell the story. 
Okay, guys, last but not least, these guys are the Dispar Anthids. Good community, schooling type fish for your reef tank environment. They have a very high metabolism. They like to be fed about three to five times a day, like some people I know. Hanging out in here with them are a couple of baby flamingo tanks. They probably won't make an appearance yet, but they're definitely worth coming in to see. They've got their little I'm upset patterns on them right now, and they look like little polka dots. Oh, there's his fanny. There he goes. There's another one. Good looking fish. Thanks everyone for watching the weekly update. As you can see, Guy ordered driftwood again. Two pallets. So all the driftwood that you guys have seen that's been so cool in all the tanks, well, I got twice, maybe even three times as much of it back in stock right now. A lot's going on and this is a very festive, strong weekend in terms of saltwater fish, freshwater fish, uh, live plants especially, and corals. Come by and see us. God bless and have a happy Thanksgiving weekend.